Hello and welcome to this short public announcement on our change project. Today we'll be looking at a major issue in Australia, plastic bags. In Australia, Australians use 3.92 billion, billion plastic bags a year. That's 150 times the population of Australia. But it's not the total amount that worries us, it's where these plastic bags end up. A study shows only 1% of plastic bags get recycled. So where do the rest end up? Keep watching and you'll find out. Lots of things are made from plastic bags, from bowls to glasses to windows and even jewellery. My name is scientist Nicholas Lee and I'll be explaining what plastic bags are. Now, where's my bag? Plastic bags are made of a thin plastic film called polyethylene, which is made from petrochemicals and oil. Shopping centers normally stock the HDPE kind, which stands for high density polyethylene. These kind of plastic bags normally take up to a thousand years to completely decompose. So, if you leave your plastic bag in your backyard for the next hundred years, there's a pretty high chance that it'll still be there. But there's an even lower chance that you probably won't be there. Plastic bags have a few advantages. Plastic bags are durable, lightweight, strong, fast, water and chemical resistant, not much energy and heavy chemicals needed to make them, and less carbon emissions. Hey, sounds like you're saying plastic bags are good. No, these disadvantages don't really have anything to do with the issue. Oh yeah, because the issue was people was misusing them and using too many, as well as littering. Yeah, so have a listen to these disadvantages. Petrochemicals are unrenewable. They are flimsy and can't stand up. When littered, they look ugly and unsightly. They biodegrade in the landfill, so they take up lots of space over a long period of time. Plastic bags can cause unsupervised infants and small animals to suffocate and littered bags may clog roadside drains due to them being waterproof, which will cause street flooding during heavy rainfall. Oh, I see. Yeah, there could also be other disadvantages depending on who you are. Thanks for your help. Yeah, you're welcome. Now you know what plastic bags are, let's move on to how they affect the environment. In the US, about 25 babies suffocate from plastic bags a year, and other times the plastic bags were just slapped on the floor. When researchers dissected a marine animal, they found 1,630 pieces of plastic inside it. The North Pacific guy has been estimated to have six times more plastic than plankton. And believe me, there are tons of plankton in the sea. During cleanup Australia Day, about half a million plastic bags are found every year. Marine animals can die from plastic bags by overstuffing. Plastic bags can be digested, so they stay in the stomach. Once they fill up, they die. And dangerous species can die like this as well. So stop littering in the ocean. Most animals are pretty stupid. They can't tell the difference between plastic bags and food. What are you doing here? Go away! Oh, crap. <coughs> Most of these bags prove how irresponsible and lazy humans are. Littering plastic bags causes damage to wildlife and the beauty of nature, for example. Look at this garden. It was 1963. It was a sunny day. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping, the Nelson... Oh, what the? What the hell is this plastic doing here? You see what I mean? I see what you mean. Oh, what the? Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, now we all know what the issue is. Here are a few tips on how to change it. Oh my god, that was my line, you pop. You're all stuffing it up. I'm the main person. Without me, we're like nothing. Nothing. This whole presentation is nothing. No one cares about us. It's all me. Time to listen up and take notes, because we're providing some tips so that you can make a contribution to the future of our planet. The first one is the most obvious, the four arts, which are... Reuse. Reduce. Recycle. Reduce. Reduce. The first one. Reuse. Reuse any plastic bags you might have. You can store stuff in it. You can make a balloon or origami. <gasps> you can also take it to the supermarket again. And you can make a singlet out of plastic bag. We can even make a nice guy out of one. You can also suffocate your friends though we advice you. Oh wait, you probably wouldn't want to use a plastic bag as a bin liner, as that will end up in your landfills with your rubbish. Not what we're trying to do. You'll be pretty much delaying the plastic. Wait, what do you need a bin liner for anyway? 
Okay, time for the next one. Reduce. reduce. Try reduce the number of plastic bags you use. Okay, when you go shopping, try reducing the number of bags by transferring items. If you stuffed everything into one bag instead of splitting into two, you will save one bag. If every family did this every time they go shopping, it will reduce the number of bags used substantially. Another one is recycle. Kind of easy, but it's hell for the recycling company. All you have to do is bring your plastic bag to a central collection point for recycling. The only problem is that it's often troublesome, and humans are lazy, and plastic bags have been shown hard to recycle. This is because there are different types of materialistic plastic items that can be made of, and there's a chance of something else might be mixed into the plastic, like a receipt of contaminants, that would end up unsuitable for recycling. Okay, finally, there's... Radius! Just say no to any plastic bags you get. Just say no! If a cashier offers you a bag, say no. Beat them up if you have to. Just don't use that bag. And say no. For example. No, Nelson, no, Nelson, no, Nelson, no. No, no, no. Wow, if you have to go shopping and need to carry things, use alternatives. Boxes, like the one in Aldi, are a great replacement. Boxes are easily reusable, and cardboard is recyclable. Green bags. You can get these for less than a dollar at any shopping center, and you can use them over and over and over again. They won't wear out as easily, big enough to hold a bit, and small enough to store. For all these few tips, and let's get that 3.92 billion down by the end of the year. We also have the ultimate, ultimate tip, which is not go shopping at all. If we all don't go shopping to eat or drink, then we won't have any impact on the environment at all. Yay! Yay! Of course, you can't breathe at all anymore. Oh, you could stop your training, that helps. Okay, well, if you guys want to raise awareness for us, you can maybe tell your friend about this. Or you can help clean up Australia. Well, if there were less plastic bags in the world, there would be less chances that wildlife, small animals and stuff will suffocate from them. You can also visit these pages for more information. But if you're too lazy to copy them down, just go on Google and type in plastic bags. Thank you for listening to the, thank you for listening to this presentation and I hope you learned a lot. See ya.